Is it Amy? Blink. Is it? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do okay. this. Hi, right, Juice. Right. No. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, I miss it. you. I miss you too. How are you, kids? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Just getting ready for work, you know. I love Jamie's that. I love Michael. that you are literally doing this in your work back room. Uh, like you are. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, as a woman my with a hustle. Went... Yes, absolutely. All the things. To <sighs> you look like things. a garden fairy. Thank you. I feel like one. Oh my god, good. I'm glad. This Can dress I is made by you? Evan Clayton in Vancouver. Ooh. In case you wanted to get one. I do, <laughs> actually. I just show up in the exact same outfit you're in right now. It's a cosplay. You know how much I love like, matching. I wouldn't care. I'd be so excited. It's a cosplay. <gasps> yeah. We can cosplay. just be team garden fairy. I'm <sighs> thrilled. Can we ask you some questions about this wonderful adventure you've just been on? I mean, no. I've, I've answered a couple of them. So if you want to toss those my way, I think I, I think I may be able to answer. Yeah, you're like, you're like new at this, but learning. Yeah, I'm lubed up, you could say. Like, <laughs> mm, perfect. I don't um, like it. Well, first of all, not I don't like it. Uh, I was obsessed with every moment that you had on screen because you're adorable. Not <laughs> that you. I'm biased or anything. Um, <laughs> can you think of anything that you would have changed going in knowing what you know now? Is there anything you wish you'd done differently? Or are you like, nope, there it is. That was that. I mean, those are definitely things that I had thought about uh, prior, or, or sorry, after. Like the, you, you run through these different scenarios in your head and you're living in these hypothetical situations for months. Uh, but I, th I feel like now it, living in that sort of hypothetical situation of things that you could have done is, is not the most helpful for your mental health. So I feel like I'm accepting it and just being like, this is what I did. This is where the cards laid. And this is kind of how everything rolled out is a lot better. And I, and I feel like for myself, it's made me feel a lot better too. So yeah, no, I wouldn't change anything. It was, it was lovely. I did it. I wore something horrible on the runway. Don't think it was the worst, but it wasn't great. Uh, and now I'm the first girl to ever leave Canada's Drag Race ever, and no one can take that away from me. Honestly, that's like a special edition title that no one else is ever going to get. Right? In my memoir, Juice Box, Internally Screaming, the first girl to go home ever. <laughs> ever. Of all time. Oh my god, you're like a limited edition little Funko Pop or something. Yeah. With a pull string. Yeah, and it's just, so... you pull the string and it's just me going, ah! And then every once in a while you go, mm, you like that. <laughs> that just happens when you pull the string. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so speaking of, of that, what was your entrance line always the same, or did you like toss around a couple backups in previous versions and settle on that? Like, did you have other ones you might have? My had? other one I uh, I was thinking about doing was um, Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna walk in and go, happy Father's Day. But my, my drag daughter, Tiffany Box, that's her joke. So, and I stole it from her, rightfully so. Um, so I was just like, if I do this on a national television show, she will never forgive me. <laughs> she will never let it go. So I was just like, I'll, I was, I went with something else. Causing family rifts and just yeah. coming home to feuds. <laughs> She calls me. Um, she's like, I hate you. <laughs> I'm, I'm emancipating myself. That's fair. Um, did you watch, obviously, did you watch uh, America, I guess, regular American drag race beforehand? Um, do you think that gave you any sort of like leg up on the figuring it out? Like Sasha Bell used to say, she figured out the formula and, and whatnot. No, I mean, I did watch it, but I don't think it gave me any kind of leg up. I think if anything, it was, it was detrimental to my success. Because <laughs> I, was, I was so psyched out. Um, also, I just farted. Did you hear it? I, I hope think so, so but I want to know. Oh, good. If not, okay. I can definitely put like a noise in there to make it sound like it was. Yeah, yeah. Atrocious. Put the noise. Put the noise. Put the noise. <laughs> this is actually like a, a 5D experience. You yeah, I just have 5D. Put the smell of vision on. <laughs> I haven't worn deodorant in a week. Um. Anyways. Um. No, I think I think watching the show it 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 can help you, but nothing, 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 nothing actually prepares you for when you actually walk in. Right, it's, yeah. it's a very different experience being there than watching it. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, what was the hardest part of being on set for you? Uh, oh my God, it was being away from my dog and my husband, my sweet little babies. I missed them so much. I had like this little photo of my husband that I would like look at and cry sometimes. Mm. So sweet. Where's the dog? The dog is sleeping in the living room. I have too many things in here. She's not gonna come in. <laughs> 
For those watching at home, fair? we've been trying to meet Juicebox's dog for years, and it has. This was actually the whole reason why we were we were just waiting until Juice got uh, booted off, and then we were gonna <laughs> interview the dog, and then we're interview gonna interview the dog, and it's just Molly it. like. <laughs> she's just lightly growling at us like yeah I, jamie i don't even know if she would like you she doesn't like very like chaotic energy and i feel like it's very chaotic energy we are so wow. calm i don't know, what, I don't know what you mean chaotic i'm doing this in a very organized situation <laughs> this is okay. it. this is together um do you want to do a rapid fire round with us and i'm oh, just gonna you know say, how much i love rapid fire let's do it i'm just gonna say this or this and you say the first thing that comes so to you're mind. gonna either hair flip to the left or to the right <laughs> <laughs> the whole brain oh i just hair flip my bow out the whole brain oh, just... oh, this will no. fall apart this wing is being held together by two pins it will fall apart and a prayer <laughs> two and a prayer. Just a wishful all right ready <laughs> okay P poutine or maple syrup <gasps> poutine beaver or moose what beaver or moose oh moose <laughs> smarties why? or coffee cri uh, why <laughs> why a moose it's a majestic creature it's like a mm. dinosaur why are you moose? mad at beavers though a moose are you are you trying to make my uh, my my not choosing beavers a misogynistic thing <laughs> i never do that do? i don't know what you mean is this where you're no, going with this <laughs> smarties or coffee cris uh smarties uh, ketchup okay. or chips or all dressed? All dressed. Degrassi or Shit's Creek? Oh my God, mm. that I can't pick. You have I to. Mean, Shit's like Creek, death. but Degrassi. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna say Shit's Creek, but I'm gonna give a special shout out to the one gay character Marco on the Next Generation, who I would constantly, constantly, constantly be in love with in my youth. <laughs> I was you like, that's what I'm gonna date all when I'm older. The time. That's why I have faith that that'll still happen somehow. Yeah, you. yeah, we're going to date. We're going to date. My husband's going to be like, that's fine. Yeah, uh, he's, he's so chill. He'll be like, great. Thank you for letting me know. He's like, just leave me alone. And that's all I care about. <laughs> Him and Molly just like hanging out, <laughs> playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> Juice, thank you so much for joining us for our first Talk About It. Talk About It. Talk About It, which it turns out we do actually say, despite the fact that I've been denying it for years. I don't think I've ever said a boot, but I do say A a lot. A? A. Yeah. 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 You know what? Now that I think voice. about it, I've heard that yeah. from you. Yeah. Why don't you give your balls a tug there, eh? It <laughs> <laughs> sounds straight out of Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Thank you so much for having us. Er, thank you so nope. much for joining us. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It was, it was so wonderful to see you on my TV and I only cried four times. I was going to um, say, I only have one question before I go. How many times did you cry watching the episode? I may or may not. I have cried, cried none. I laughed. It, Jamie's dead inside. I laughed severely at you falling. I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was so good. I loved um, it. I may or may not have cried <laughs> even before the first queen, like even before Priyanka walked in. Because it was so, it was so the picture real, of Brooke. and there was the a giant of portrait Brooke. of Brooklyn, and I, my brain went to a year ago, and she was, and I was just like, oh my god, it, and my abs wouldn't work, so it was like two o'clock in the morning, me in bed alone, sobbing, and then you walked out, and I literally was just like, <gasps> I know, I didn't get a text, so I knew you weren't watching it, because I knew you probably, you would have texted me, <laughs> so I no, was like, no. she hasn't watched it yet. Um, no, no, that was, that was that was. Oh my god, it's so nice to see your face. I love you so much. I love you deeply, and thank you for doing this. I had so much fun, and um, hopefully we can be cuties again soon. I love you guys. Bye. I love you so bye. much. I miss you. I'm so proud of you. Love you. I want to know details of all the crying. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Juice I box love left. Her.